It's only time for another bench update. Let's do it. So starting off with the general, um, I've got a brass plaque that's uh, on its way out which is going to be attached to the front framework there which just basically says you know General Lee, record jump, I think it's 230 feet, uh, Sticks River. I've had a, I, th I have to say like thank you to all uh, the people that have commented, liked and shared. I uh, really do appreciate it. It's been a really good build this, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, I was a little uh, apprehensive at first about doing it because it is such a plain scene and I did get a few comments like are you going to like stick some trees or maybe even a rowboat if I was doing an original thing then yes I would but because I was copying the record jump um, obviously there's none of that in there all the trees are in the, the background there which obviously are part of the diorama scene so that's that, um, but yeah, really happy with it. Uh, getting to another comment that I had as well about the dust, saying that uh, it's more cream. Well, I saw, the cream sort of doesn't work for me. It doesn't really look right, but at least with like different tones of yellows, you can tell that it's sand. <laughs> so that's the reasoning why I did it that way. But getting over to this guy over here, which we haven't seen for ages, which is very very dusty because I just I'm still waiting for the FX board I haven't done all the cotton yet but I thought I might as well do all that once it's all together so the victory is on hold until the circuit board comes uh, very very dusty indeed Ooh. need to have a clean up in here and that's the t lid there for it which is really dusty as well <laughs> um, moving over to this bench here we've got our fall guy truck which I haven't done an update on, but uh, the decals are on. They just fit because it's difficult doing this one handed, but as you can see, I put trim on here, um, which the decals just came to, especially on the, the cab here. It's worked out really well. Matches in really nice. We've also got our Sierra Grand decal on there, they've been sealed in. Um, I went and got myself another Molotov chrome so I can go ahead and do all the chroming on that so I need to get it all sealed up first so we're good to go with that uh, what else, what else, what else yeah, just uh, I'm going to be busy on me chroming all the bumpers again um, doing all that good stuff with that we've got our little uh, Shelby over here that's uh, the glass for the victory, which we'll be putting as soon as possible. So that's our villain car for that. And um, we also have Voyager here that's waiting patiently uh, to get started on, which we will do eventually. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that's going on. Um, there's a few people interested in the general Lee at the moment, which is fantastic. But they all want shipping prices and I don't have that yet. Um, because originally what it was going to be this was going to be glass um, tempered glass uh, which is going to be heavy you know there's no you know getting away from that it will be heavy once that is but the base itself is actually really light so hopefully it doesn't add too much to it the um, I think it was uh, yeah, it was John at Orbital Dry Dock on Google Plus that said why don't you use acrylic. Um, I'm not against using acrylic, but glass just gives it a better look. Um, and plus, this, if it's going to function as a table, when you get to the top here and you put any sort of weight on that, the acrylic's going to uh, bow, um, unless you put a really thick piece of acrylic on. But again, it doesn't look as good as glass. So I think it, 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 I probably, well, I, I'm, I'm going to use glass on it because it's just going to look more professional and it's going to be crisp and clean. And also with acrylic, acrylic's fine, but over time it tends to fog 
and then eventually you're gonna to have to swap it for something else anyway so you might as well just cut all that nonsense out um, it, it obviously it is going to affect the shipping because uh, one fella lives in Australia who was interested in it so and uh, what I'm going to do is buy myself some scales because I have a pallet here which the table is going to be going on and then we can wrap it up and that at least that way it's not going to end up on a conveyor belt and go off into a sack and smash into a million pieces because that would be very depressing um, so at least on a pallet it's going to be handled with a forklift and you know we'll just raise up the uh, the top section so they can't stack anything on top of it and jobs are good and but um, yeah really enjoying the uh, fall guy truck engines mounted radiators in all that good stuff uh, same with this piece here we've also done the wheels so all that's good uh, really enjoying this one. Oh, I didn't even show you the hood decal, did I? There you go. So we've got our Fall Guy decal on the hood. That's good to go. So the decal wise, I think the only thing left is to uh, get the uh, the lamp covers, which will be white, and then the decals on them. And also the uh, number plate, Fall Guy. And I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, just waiting for parts for the general, still waiting for parts for the victory and we're cracking on with the fall guy and if you notice, yes, there's another general Lee here uh, already planning on the next one, which will be the uh, in this corner, Luke Duke, where the general smashes through the barn roof um, I found a few kits that I could use for the villain's car because it's a 74 Gran Torino which isn't the same as Starsky and Hutch, it's the earlier one with the the correct lights at the back. It doesn't matter so much about the front because you're not really going to see the front of the vehicle because that's in the barn and it's going to be covered in debris anyway. I just need the rear lights basically of the back car. Um, but yeah, a nice quick update. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be doing an update on probably the fall guy next because it's been about two weeks or something or three weeks. So uh, yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. See you later.